for three bodies continued in Mafal Dam of Sadong village in Ukrul district today. A 12-member team of Indian Navy divers assisted by personnel of SDRF and Manipur Fire Service resumed the search operation this morning. Three picnickers went missing after their boat capsized in the dam water during the April 28 powerful cyclonic storm. The 30-day-long workshop come production of Basanta Ras organized by Inungambi Manipuri Dance Academy Jiribam under the aegis of North Central Zone Culture Center Alabad which began from March 30 concluded yesterday at the Kalimai Mandap of Jiribam. The Northeast Forum for Indigenous People yesterday resolved to demand implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in all the Northeastern states. The resolution was adopted at a meeting in Silong yesterday. Ninety delegates belonging to different organizations of Northeast, including the Manipur People Against Citizenship Amendment Bill, Manpac and Joint Committee for Prevention of Illegal Immigrants from Nagaland attended the meeting. Following warning of severe cyclonic storm Fanny over southeast and adjoining southwest Bay of Bengal moving north westwards with a speed of about 22 km per hour in the last six hours, the railway authority has cancelled total 81 trains across India, including three trains connecting Assam and northeast. The 14th episode of the Indochina border trade resumed at Natula yesterday. The trade takes place from May 1 to November 30 every year and remains operational for four days a week from Monday to Thursday. The opening of the trade for this year marked with the welcoming of officials and traders of both sides at Natura. Nexels have tours for vehicles engaged in road construction work in Barachati area of Gaya district. This comes a day after 15 police personnel and a driver were killed in a landmine blast triggered by Nexalites in Gratcholi in Maharashtra. Welcoming the move to designate Pakistan-based Jaisi Muhammad Chief Mahsud Azhar as a global terrorist, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that it is a victory for the American diplomacy and the international community against terrorism.